So Carlos, would you like to tell us a bit about the, um, the model that you brought us this morning? Yes, I do. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's, um, it's the concept design of, uh, of, the, of this kind of stair that I call spider boots. And they are um, like, um, they work like um, a vertical, vertical stage or a vertical theater. Um, with uh, six boots for, in principle, six actors, six dancers, six performers. Um, and obviously, um, six or more or less um, persons to, to watch the, the performances acting inside the boots. Um, and this is the original concept stage of the, of the design for the structure. And it's evolved slightly for the exhibition Yes, since this is a very it's, early stage. Yes, it's quite complicated if compared with the, what, what's going to be built because, because of the many problems including structural um, sound, sound, structural soundability, structure, you know, stability. Um, but the main idea is, was kept. It's still a... Um, a structure with um, where all the void spaces were used as a, as a place where something can happen, that something can be used by by actors, by by performers, um, and I think it's. I have more to say, but mm, I forgot. <laughs> so, 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 Sophie, we're working with you on commissioning some performers to develop pieces of work for the structure. Um, yeah. So how, um, what, what is it about the structure that you find particularly interesting or how do you imagine the performers will respond to Carlos's structure? Well, I suppose what's interesting about it is the fact that it's not what you would normally expect a, a performance space to look like at all. There's no sort of barrier between the audience and the performers. Um, but there is, in a way, a kind of stage structure that you've got with, with the different booths um, and with the platforms at the tops of the staircases. So in a way you sort of split the stage into different areas and I'm hoping that, um, that all the performers will respond to that um, sort of perhaps by breaking up the narrative of their piece or by situating different performers in different booths or perhaps different, um, different types of practitioners in different booths. So we've got one company, for example, who um, are going to be working with a puppeteer and a musician and, uh, and an actor and I'm not quite sure I haven't actually run this through with them yet but I'm imagining that they'll position them in different spaces so you might have um, a musician in, in this booth and then uh, a puppeteer in this booth and then the actor leading the audience up the stairs and around and sort of as an audience member it, it's a very it's kind of a promenade it's a the space is perfect for a, a kind of promenade piece of theatre with um, different objects or people, different performers in different spaces that you can come and visit in, uh, sort of an, on, a sort of, on a journey through the structure. So I'm hoping that that'll work really well. Great.